are you getting this? They literally have every single thing. This is an arowana in this small little tank. Mealworms and superworms that just go all the way up to the top and it's just really incredible. Oh, shit. This is Singapore's most legendary and well-known fish store and today we're gonna be taking a tour. This is C328 and almost every fish keeper in Singapore knows about this place. And it's also one of the hardest for me to film because of how crowded it is. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let's try to reach a thousand likes today and let's go and take a look inside. Before we take a look inside, I want to show you guys the outside a little bit. So you can see there's plants hanging everywhere here. You've got all these pipes, um, pleco caves, just the whole... These are like the huge, the big section. Over there you've got the smaller caves. But look at all the plants here. You've got them on the ground as well. And then some tropical plants down here. Just an incredible selection. And then here you've got your hardscape materials, driftwood, rocks. Over on this side you've got the smaller ones. These are good for shrimp and plecos, smaller plecos. And then over here, these are background sticker papers. So you get a sheet of this, you stick it on the back of your tank and you've got a background. So there's a whole bunch of colors to choose from. And then there's still more plants around me. So that's pretty amazing. Over here, before we step inside, there's a whole bunch of buckets with fish in them. Female bettas in there. Um, I see like crabs over there, which is really interesting. It's really cool how they do this bucket system. But, and small little terrapins right here. But let's go ahead, step inside and see what they've got. So the first tank we see over here, plants, a whole bunch of aquatic plants. Down below there's some goldfish. Look at those ryukins. Really nice. And then buckets again. Wow, look at these. These are bumblebee gobies. I've never seen that before. I bet you've never seen anything like this before. In a little bucket. Amazing. And then you've got more plants here. You've got earth eaters in here. As well as compressorceps. Look at those compressorceps. It's a type of African cichlid. Um, but they look really amazing. And then check this out. Over here you've got lights that just go all the way to the top. And in this middle section you've got fish food and stuff. And over there there's more tanks we'll take a look at later. But let's take a look on this side first. So there's some catfish in there too. Coolie launches. I bet you've never seen that before. Only a snakehead. Oh wow, what type of snakehead is this? It's from Indonesia. Indonesia. Uh, Indonesia, yes. Yeah, really nice. It's Pretty a yellow. big size too. This is this is juvenile only. Ah, so it'll get much <laughs> bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so you just saw that guy's going back with a snakehead right now. And over here I saw an arowana in one of these bags which is amazing. And I think I just saw a gurami, a giant gurami right here. Check that out. That is a giant gurami. But I think I'll, I'll let these bags just sit here. I don't want to dis disturb any of the fish. Um, let's take a look around. Look at all these. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is an arowana in this small little tank. And right here to a silver arowana. Wow, that is crazy. Of course, they're going to be sold. Um, this store is packed and everyone comes here to buy stuff, but look at these. I've never seen these. Oh, these are loaches. Pretty cool. The gulper catfish. Um, not so common. But yeah, look at all. Wow, flower horn in there. And they look really healthy too. Uh, let's take a look around here. So here you've got baby brine shrimp. You can see it's written BBS. Uh, and all the feeder fish are here. The frogs, miniature frogs. And over here you've got tiger barbs and all these other small fish. I kind of feel bad for them because they are feeder fish. Um, here you've got mealworms and superworms that just go all the way up to the top and it's just really incredible. Oh, shit. Now 
off. That was a really close call, really, really close. We're gonna take a look at some even cooler stuff back there, uh, but I haven't showed you the nets. Look at the selection of nets that they have. Pretty insane. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, let's go and take a look at the back. So this here is kind of like the packing station. Uh, if we go on back, you'll see even cooler fish. The flagtail crotchelotus. Uh, there's a lot of clownfish over here, but look at the amount of flagtails there are. The blackberry hook, uh, arowana, golden crossback arowana. Look at that pleco right there. Really, really nice. Uh, down below, you've got another crossback arowana. Look at the shine on that. Incredible. And some more arowanas here. Look at the bitters in here. What is that? Down below you've got a whole bunch of peacock bass. Look at the short body catfish, the hyphen shark catfish. Um, Pangatsia shark, I'm not so sure, but yeah. There's some knife fish in here. And then down here you've got all these tubs with fish in them. You've got goldfish, and look, he's even standing on them and doing water changes. That's incredible. But yeah, there's a golden crossback right there. Get that water change done for the arowana. What a good looking fish that is. Really nice. But let's take a look at some of the plecos here. Look at the gold nuggets and the white spotted plecos. And then here you've got the L333 plecos. Really nice. Stingrays down there. Some big bitures in there. And over here, stingrays. Look at the stingrays. As well as another red arowana. Take a look at all the goldfish in here. And some more bags. Bags just go on and on and on. And take a look over here. Up in this tank there are some small little plecos. Check them out over there. Really nice looking. And then in the bag over here there's an L46 which is really cool. And you can see they just leave them in the bag because people are going to come and just take the bag and go. And you can see over here as well flower horns in here. That looks like a tiger fish. Uh, Vitatus African tiger fish. Uh, over here you've got an arowana. Uh, more flower horns over there. What fish is this? This is a carp? Yeah. Some kind of carp, kind right? Of carp. Yeah, and then there's snakeheads over here and look at the fire eel in there. That's a fire eel, a pretty big one as well. And uh, over here, this is like the very back of the store. Uh, there's flower horns in every single tank. Flower horns here, there's a red tail, a short body red tail gourami. Wow! That is really interesting. Never seen one of those before. I've seen normal red-tailed gourami, but not a short body. Now, before we take a look on that side, I want to show you how the, the cash register system works here. It's really interesting. It's really old school too and fascinating. So they've got this thing and it's like a pulley system. They pull it down. I really don't have to explain it. You guys just saw it happen right there. Really interesting system and it's really unique. Alright, let's take a look over here. So over here you've got, look at this pleco right here. That is pretty massive too. Look at that compared to my hand. And you've got goldfish and discus in there. Kind of hard to see but you guys can see it. Um, here you've got some goldfish. And then you've got bags on bags just again really interesting and all these little shrimps over here check out the variety of shrimps they have in each tank they're kind of hard to focus on because of how small they are but i'll try to get some macro shots for you then over here there are epistograms and they're sold as pairs and you can see like this is the agassizii double red this right here is the cockatoides and you can see it looks really beautiful even though they're in a bag and then up above they've got discus red maps up there. Oh my goodness, they all just swam right up to me. Did you guys just see that? The discus just swam right up to the camera. That's just incredible. I, I, I don't know why, but I find stuff like that really interesting. Let's see, oh my goodness. They just did it again. That's crazy. I love those discus. Um, but let's take a look at some other stuff. Over here, 
But over here there's a really incredible section we'll take a look at later. But uh, there's some goldfish and discus up here. Uh, down here there's some smaller tetras. You've just got small tanks with all these amazing looking fish. Look at this cardinal tetras in this size tank is just amazing. Man, have you ever seen this before? This is look at all the puppies and the colors. It's just stunning. And you see how they're all swimming really healthy, and you don't see any dead fish in here. This is just incredible. Look at all these female koi guppies. And then you've got albino neon tetras as well as the golden tetra really nice look at all the small fish in there and these are just on air stones so they get water changed like probably every single day uh, look at that really beautiful i could spend all day just looking at this section right here they literally have every single thing including ada products i didn't think that they'd have ada stuff but they have it and they've got a whole bunch of foods and products look at all the food here and it doesn't end here it goes all the way over there and then they've got hikari food over here um, turtle food discus food just a whole bunch of stuff new life spectrum over here and then now we're going to take a look at some of the african cichlids these here are some small cichlids you can see a demasoni right there with the stripes and the dubosi look at the spots on that really nice looking they're pretty small too and over here you've got some synodontis catfish small size really good tank mates for african cichlid and they do grow pretty big as well here you've got some lake tanga because look at the blue color eyes on this fish beautiful and then you've got compressorceps as well really cool and here you've got rusty cichlids and look how active they are it's crazy and here you've got barbs i don't know why like all african cichlids and then somehow there's barbs here but pretty unique interesting you've got some odessa barbs some orange ones colorful fish here you've got the big peacock cichlids look at the colors on them really nice i love the red and the yellow ones and the ob peacock i saw oh this guy right here look at this guy really nice and then here you've got smaller size ones pretty cool and down below you've got the tropical fish um, you've got sword tails in here sorry about the focus but um, you also see corridors swimming around in these tanks as well as some small little honey gouramis there over here you've got some small little rasboras and in this tank over here you've got some guppies as well as the rasboras again just a mixed variety of fish and here you've got some tetras as well as the glow light daniels look at the glow light daniels in here I'm not a huge fan of the glow light fish but i do think they are pretty especially the yellow and the greens and then in this tank you've got a stir by cory swimming right there Look at that, really nice. As well as a whole bunch of guppies. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you're new here as I make videos like this every single week and I will see you guys next time. Also, thank you for everyone who came out and said hi today. Really nice meeting you. See you guys next time.